Hey guys, so today we're answering your question on how to style a t-shirt and trousers. Hey guys, welcome back to Gents Lounge. I'm George, Blake is back in the building. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. Make sure you ding that little bell icon so you get notified every time we release a new video. Today, we are talking about how to style trousers with a t-shirt. So we asked the question on both of our Instagrams and we kept getting this question on how to do it because Blake does it quite often. I do it a lot less because I'm a little less comfortable with it. But today we're gonna give you a few style tips and tricks to make sure you pull it off and pull it off correctly. So now the main point with this guys, and I think George can agree with this, anyone can agree on this, is that fit is key. So if your outfit is not fitted, it's not gonna look the best. It's gonna look sloppy, it's gonna look like it doesn't belong together. So again, fit is key. So basically I picked up this look about two or three years ago when I went to Italy for the first time um, during the summer, of course, because it was super hot. And I noticed that a lot of the Italian guys were wearing trousers, but they were wearing t-shirts. So, you know, where I was wearing a dress shirt, like, like hot as fuck, <laughs> they were like, you know, they, they still look presentable, they still look put together, but they were wearing a t-shirt. It was, it was more casual, but still dressed at the same time. So you are gonna be tucking in your shirt, guys. So typically a tucked in shirt can balloon out if it's larger than normal. So you wanna make sure it's nice and trim. Maybe size down one. Don't be afraid to do it. Just take the chance and do it. Also, you wanna make sure that you have mid to high waisted trousers. Again, this is like very different for us Americans because we're used to low cut. But guys, when you're tucking in a shirt, it's gonna give you that nice elongated feel. You're gonna look a little bit taller than normal. And you know, you're just gonna have that Italian flair. One thing also to remember is that you need no break or minimum break. Reason being is that you're gonna be styling this with loafers and with sneakers. So you, you wanna show off a little bit of the ankle and you wanna you know, fit the vibe, because it is a summer theme. And also guys, the cool thing about wearing t-shirts and trousers is when you're wearing your loafers or sneakers, I do say when you wear like sneakers and suits, your sneakers need to be clean as hell. But when you're wearing trousers and a t-shirt, you can go a little more beat up with the sneakers, like have a little few scuffs on a white sneaker. I like I like a loafer that looks like it's been worn in. Yeah. When, you know, like it's more it's more of a casual vibe, even though it's still dressed up with the trousers. But you can get away with a little more worn in uh, footwear. I mean, the Italians do. They look so sleek and like put together. I don't know. I think us Americans, we need to just take a little bit like from these different cultures and apply it to our own. One thing to remember guys is that you, you need to have a lot of confidence when you're doing this because it is very, very different. Um, you are wearing a t-shirt with trousers, okay? So people are gonna tell you that it doesn't match or it doesn't go, but who cares what they say and you just need to have the confidence to actually rock it. All right guys, and to complete the trouser and t-shirt look, you need some sort of accessory. So Blake wears his bracelets and his watch and his necklace. Um, I switch things up with a hat and a watch just because a t-shirt and trousers, it's still, it's dressy, but it still looks kind of plain. Like you need some sort of extra oomph and like the necklace kind of sets off yeah. the t-shirt. This hat kind of takes away from the plainness of the t-shirt. So you still need a little extra pop with this type of look. Yeah, and I think it's a perfect time for you to rock like a textured trouser. So either a nice like soft wool where, where it's not too heavy and it's still very breathable or a linen. I love like a linen trouser, high waisted, uh, with a nice cuff, about a two inch cuff or inch and a half. So it gives it that extra umph because like George said, it is a very plain look. So if you guys have those pattern trousers, this is the time to break them out of your closet because it's gonna take a plain t-shirt to the next level. So one thing that George and I don't agree on, and I think I'm right, he thinks he's right, is that I feel like you can wear a graphic tee, but it has to be minimal. So it has to be just like a Ralph Lauren logo, a Dolce & Gabbana logo, but not so large where it takes up the whole freaking shirt. No, we, see what we agree on is that you can wear a graphic tee with a minimal logo. What we don't agree on is what is considered a minimal logo. So Blake has this Dolce & Gabbana shirt which takes up the whole freaking shirt. He's like, it's totally minimal. So we're gonna put a picture of it right up here. Yes. And you're gonna tell us in the comments below if this is a minimal graphic tee. I think I'm gonna win. I don't think so. Last tip guys, if you're still new to this and you're like afraid to take the plunge, maybe start with the polo and trouser mm -hmm. and then that'll be a good way for you to like get the feel of it but also make sure the polo is fitted, very important. So if you're wearing Ralph Lauren, go for that slim fit, not the classic fit. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video on how to wear t-shirts and trousers. I hope this was helpful. I do wanna give you one more tip for you bigger guys out there like me. Um, a belt will save you in this situation. If you have a little bit of a gut that kind of hangs over a touch, use a little belt to kind of level everything out. 
Blake is skinny as hell, so he doesn't need to wear a belt, and it still looks phenomenal. But uh, you know, guys like us that got a little little gut going on, I recommend a belt to help ease into this look. So remember, guys, wear it with confidence. Try out textured trousers. Make sure they are tailored with no break or minimal break. Loafers or sneakers. Um, minimal graphic, minimal graphic tees if you want to go that route, or plain plain tees. And make sure that the texture on the tee has some significance to it. You don't want to wear like a Hanes no, no, no. undershirt. You need something that you can't see your nipples through, guys. <laughs> All right. So that pretty much wraps up the video. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. Remember to bell, bell this icon right here and give this video a thumbs up. Drop us a comment if you have ever tried this look and what you found works for you. And once again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Cheers.